Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So I'm currently printing a um, motorcycle helmet hook. Um, I've printed a few of these for friends and family. They've turned out to be pretty popular. Everyone sees that uh, um, the photos that people are sharing on social media and they're like, hey, uh, I have helmets that I wouldn't mind hanging on the wall and I'd like to get some of those. Steph, can you make some for me? So sure, I've been doing that. Um, this sorry this last person had asked for uh, a hook in black so here I am uh, printing and I'm using up the last of the spool on the right uh, this is Sparta 3D uh, ABS plus obsidian black and um, as you can see I'm down to the last few strands but the print job still has eh, probably about a third of the way to go um, so thankfully I've got a backup spool on the left, but when it gets to the point of um, having to swap it out, you know, I don't currently have a filament sensor to tell the printer to pause when it runs out of filament. And so uh, these have been on the market for a while, but there's a new version of the filament center, sensor here by uh, Big Tree Tech. So this is their Smart Filament Sensor V2.0, and I've just ordered a few of these for my printers, but I haven't installed them on the printer yet. Um, so the idea with this is it will detect when either the uh, filament gets stuck and doesn't move forward, or also when the filament runs out and there's no more filament left in the filament path, it'll send a signal to the printer to pause the print, uh, allowing you the chance to uh, load up the next spool or um, you know, switch to another spool if you're changing colors, that type of thing. So the, uh, and then resume the print when you're done so that you can basically finish the print and not end up with a bunch of spools with you know, minimal amounts of filament left on them that you never get to use up because you're never going right to the end of the spool. So uh, in this case, I'm here uh, on the last few cycles of this spool where I'm gonna watch it uh, and watch the filament go down into the Bowden tube, the white tube that you see that's feeding the filament into the uh, tool head. And I'm gonna carefully watch to see where the filament um, ends up and then be able to hit pause on my screen here uh, in order to uh, stop the print temporarily allowing me the time to reload with the other spool that you see there beside it um, and that'll be a manual process um, unloading and reloading is a manual process anyway but the filament sensor will basically you know send the pause signal to the printer um, once the first spool runs out and then it waits there patiently for you to come and continue uh, reload and continue the print. Um, so a little, little bit less manual intervention needed, less uh, watching over it as it winds down to the end of the spool. Um, so I'm gonna be installing this on my printer. I'm probably just gonna mount it to the rear exhaust panel here. Um, there are mounts already for it specifically, so I won't have to reinvent the wheel. And then uh, I'll let you know uh, how it works out for me. I've not had a filament sensor on this printer, printer before. Um, I did previously run with a filament sensor on my Ender 3 Max when I was using that a few years ago. Um, but I have not uh, gone to the trouble of setting one up on one of my Voron printers yet. So um, it should work mostly the same. I'm not anticipating any problems, but I will give you a better review of the filament sensor once I actually have it installed and have been able to put it through its paces. So there you have it. Uh, that's it for today's video. If you have any experience with this filament sensor or any others, uh, whether positive or negative, love to hear about it in the comments. Um, this is the one I've chosen to go with this time. A, they were on sale during the Black Friday sales and I got them for basically next to nothing. Um, and I ordered four of them so I can install them on different printers that I have in the house. Um, but yeah, if you have any uh, experiences either way, I'd love to hear about them, like I said in the comments. And um, if you're looking at a competing filament sensor and have you know experiences with that, i uh, also like to know about that as well. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.